Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this Lixada Butane Gaslight Lantern. Alright everybody, welcome back. So I'm kind of excited. I love these little things that connect to these, uh, connect to the isobutane stoves, uh, isobutane canisters. I think it's kind of unique, um, kind of handy too, if you don't want to carry a full-size lantern. This is a very small design here, very small form factor, as you can tell. There's my hand. Uh, and this doesn't use a mantle. This isn't going to be a super, super bright light. This is more equivalent to, say, the power of two or three candles without the danger of candles spilling over. So, let me explain to you what it is, first of all. It's just basically a little uh, gas lantern. Um, runs off the little isobutane cans. And another neat thing about this, too, is this will run for 12 hours on a full can, but it will also make use of your slightly almost empty cans like this one. So, to work it, you're just going to screw it onto your canister. There we go. And you're going to control the up or down flame with this ring here. It's really a pretty simple, simple item. Um, you're going to turn on the gas here. Now, something I've noticed with these is they say, oh, there's an area here where you can put the flame in and it will light it. Well, make sure you have that notch where there's actually a hole there. Because I tried doing it the other way and I wasn't getting anything in there. And if worse comes to worse, you can light it from the top. It'll light easily. Um, we're just going to use a good old match today. Get one of these out. And I'm going to open it up. Just a little bit. Oop! Runaway match. See if that works from the top. Works from the side now. We'll do it from the top. <laughs> it's just easier. So as you can tell, that's pretty low. You can turn it up with the circular ring. Now I did review one of these that actually has a mantle and um, uses, uh, it's more like a lantern in other words. And it's very, very bright. But for something like this inside a tent where um, you don't want a ton of light or maybe while you're eating dinner at a camp, whatever, something like this is pretty darn cool. Um, I think it would definitely come in handy for backpacking or things like that. Even emergency preparedness, I want to turn it up a little bit. Even emergency preparedness, you know, to have this in your house instead of, say, two or three candles lying around. Now, we're going to put the light out, and I'm going to see how bright it is. But um, a little bit on the carbon monoxide, I know I'm going to hear about it. Carbon monoxide concerns in general. Anything that burns consumes oxygen and produces CO. But your tent, remember, your tent isn't airtight. So there is going to be a constant airflow. Um, as for this thing, the O2 level probably would drop a lot less than if you smoked, say, a cigarette inside your tent. So it's really not a concern with this. This really isn't a huge flame. Um, this isn't something that's going to, you know, create a toxic environment inside. I would say if you use it indoors to be careful, um, depending on your situation. If you have an 1,800 square foot house with an open concept floor plan, you know, where there's windows and everything's open, I'm not too worried about this. If you live in, say, a 700 square foot tiny house or 125 square foot tiny house, it might be different. You might want to open a window. Anyway, let's turn off the lights and see what it looks like. All right, so I just have the top light in the garage on. Um, I was going to turn it off, but then if I turn the lights back on, you can't see because the lights aren't right. So, I'm just going to leave this here. You can see pretty well. You could turn it way, way down. You can turn it way, way up. If I had to read something, you can see my hand there. You could easily read by it, no problem. Um, if I had to read a book or something. So, for something like that, maybe a nightlight for your campsite. Um, maybe something to eat dinner by inside your tent, you know. And if you don't want to have it inside, maybe you could leave your tent door open while you're eating dinner. Um, just a nice little background light. Um, even mood lighting. You know, just kind of make it look nice at your campsite. But uh, definitely a cool little item. Very inexpensive. I believe they're $21. They're really not a big uh, expensive thing. Now, for emergency preparedness in the home, I'm going to put the lights back on so we get rid of that annoying lens flare there. <laughs> for emergency preparedness in the home, definitely a neat item. we got to remember, too, um, these items are hot. If you have young children, when I turn this off, they're going to think, oh, it's safe to grab. That's still going to be very, very hot. So you don't want to touch this area for a while. As far as it getting knocked over, there's more of a chance of a candle getting knocked over than this. So definitely not something I'd worry about. I do like the fact that you can keep it that low. Uh, 
and it doesn't require mantles, it doesn't require anything. Now it does come in a case, nice plastic case here, it's got insulation in it. So you're going to put the center of it down on this end, the bottom. This folds up along the side, and you're going to stick that in the top there once it cools off. And you'll be able to uh, have that securely stored in there, it does not rattle around at all. My uh, other one, that is the actual lantern with the uh, mantle, does rattle around some. Um, this does not at all. I've actually put um, a paper towel around it so it doesn't rattle around, but this doesn't rattle around at all. This is really, really safe and secure in there. I'm going to turn it off. You see how it goes right out. And you regulate it with the ring, so that's kind of neat too. And this ring does not get hot. This ring here doesn't get hot. It might get a little warm from the glass, but you're not going to get hot along that. And it's an awesome way to get rid of these and fully empty them. Um, I've seen them. I, the one I had that I was pretty sure was empty ran two and a half hours on what was just a tiny little bit left. You know when you shake it around, you hear that little tiny bit left in the bottom of these? Ran two and a half hours on that. They stayed it runs for 12 hours, you know, on a full can. I can see it. It really does sip the propane, the isobutane. It really isn't a big, uh, a big <laughs> consumer of that. It goes very, very slowly. So let's get into some specs first of all. It's uh, 1.5 by 1.3 by 3.9 inches. The lamp weight is 3.4 ounces. So it's not super heavy. It's made of very lightweight materials. I'll give you a close-up here on it. So you can kind of take a look. And like I say, um, as far as the lighting goes, I just light it from the top. I wanted to see for the video if it would light under here. But I just light it from the top. It's not, gonna, it's not like a stove that's going to poof up and burn your hands. It's nowhere near that kind of power. Um, and it's just easier to do from the top, but uh, it's a nice little nice little uh, Light for you even for your emergency preparedness. I mean, you know if I I'm trying to think back to my tiny little apartment in New York City um, It had to be maybe 75 square feet with a kitchen a bathroom and uh, you know a, a living area and a TV and that was about it and um, That would have lit up that room easily so I try, when I do stuff like this, I try to remember that not everybody lives rural like where I live. And you may be living in the middle of Chicago or Manhattan or whatever. And when you lose power, something like that could really come in handy. Um, I know there's tons of LEDs on the market. I get it. But something like this is just kind of a nice, uh, a nice addition, kind of a little bit of a change. And, like I said, it just runs on these little isobutane canisters that you probably have already from all of your cook stoves. So anyway, that is the Lixada Butane Gas Light Lantern. Uh, again, it does not run with any, um, you don't need any um, mantles. It's completely independent. Um, it just packs away really simple and small. Now, when you're packing it away, you are going to have to turn it on a little bit and up like that. Now, you don't want to do that with the gas canister on, obviously. But when you take it off. Now, we just ran that, and in the time I'm talking, that's cool to the touch. And I'm able to touch that and remove it. You will need to clean off the glass from time to time from fingerprints, but it's really no big deal. Uh, also, too, uh, this is extra strong, very tempered, uh, thick glass. I don't know if there's a proper name for it, but that's what I'll call it. Uh, it's very, very strong glass. It really feels thick. That's what I noticed about it. So it's not going to break the first time it, you know, bumps into something. But um, definitely, you know, definitely a cool little, uh, cool little piece for your camping gear or even your emergency preparedness gear. You know, it's, not, it's one of those things that isn't required, I wouldn't say. If you have no LED lights, run out and buy that first. But it's definitely a cool item to add to if you have LED lights and maybe you want this, you know, inside your tent or maybe on a table when you're eating dinner, camping, whatever. Even in a, in a car kit or a bug out kit. Um, I wouldn't put it in a bug out bag because it's glass. I don't like putting glass in bug out bags. I just wouldn't do it. But um, as far as just for your home emergency preparedness, Definitely a cool item. I will put a link down below where you can pick it up. Like I said, they run $21. Um, it will be in my store, so don't forget to check out our Amazon store. You can shop in there, or you can just click the link and shop as you normally would on Amazon. It really helps out our channel a whole lot. It doesn't cost you anything. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link as well, and our Olight link as well. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, and stay prepared.